वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल स्टडी सिंप्लीफाइड ब्लॉकिंग स्कीम ओवर रिच जोन और ब्लॉकिंग स्कीम ओवर रिच जोन द अरेंजमेंट डिस्क्राइब सो फार हैव यूज द सिग्नलिंग चैनल्स टू ट्रांसमिट अ ट्रिपिंग इंस्ट्रक्शंस इफ द सिग्नलिंग चैनल फेल्स और देयर इज नो वीक इन फीड फीचर प्रोवाइडेड एंड जोन फॉल्ट मे टेक लॉन्गर टू बी क्लियर ब्लॉकिंग ओवर रीचिंग स्कीम यूज एन ओवर रीचिंग डिस्टेंस स्कीम and inverse logic signaling is initiated only if external faults and signaling transmission take place for healthy line sections fast fault clearance occurs when no signal is received and overreaching zone to distance measure measuring elements looking into the line operate the signaling channel is keyed by reverse lock looking distance element zone 3 diagram though which zone is used depending on the particular relay with dedicated reverse zone such as zone 4 now commonly used numerical relays so blocking scheme is basically uh is a scheme in which you can see uh, there are two substations here a and b and if you see uh, the fault if the fault is available at f1 the relay at uh, station a will trip in zone one a and also relay station b both will trip in zone one and the fault will be clear immediately but if the fault is uh, beyond zone one a and f2 you can see in this case the relay a at station a will see the fault in zone 2 in forward direction and station b will see the fault in z1 or also in the forward direction in this case uh, the uh, the relay at station a will be picked up and it will wait for any blocking signal for example we can set here 400 milliseconds if there is no uh, because fault is in forward direction the relay at station b will not send the blocking signal and relay will trip uh in uh, in 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 the given time which is always less than zone 2 very fast so the case 3 for example if the fault is at in the reverse direction of f3 the relay will uh, at station a will again pick up in zone 2 and will start the timer and uh, what at the relay at b it will see the fault is in the reverse direction fault is not in forward direction so in that case relay will send the blocking signal to the remote end to not to trip so the relay at the station a will not do the tripping and only the relay at station which is monitoring station b to c will trip in zone 1 so this is the concept of blocking so let's see the logic diagram here if the for example here we can see if the relay is picked up in zone 3 it is sending the sig signal is sent which is the reverse zone if the relay is picked up in reverse zone 3 in our case we have taken as a reverse zone it could be zone 4 or it could be zone 5 depending upon the relay and now in the numerical relays we have the feature that we can select any zone in forward or reverse direction if the relay is picked up in zone zone 3 or reverse zone it is sending the blocking signal to the remote and immediately to not to trip but if the relay is picked up in z1 and z2 it is not sending any blocking signal but it is starting the normal timers and if the signal is not received from remote and blocking signal and relay is picked up in zone 2 then it is doing the tripping quickly within no time so this is example of blocking scheme the advantage again for this scheme is even if the communication is failed is a simple blocking scheme the relay at station a still can trip immediately so let's see the another modified scheme which is called as directional comparison blocking scheme or blocking over each distance protection scheme uh, it is the same as we have discussed discussed except it is taking the channel in service input also if the channel is in service 
then the permissive scheme is sending is, is it can trip immediately if the channel is not healthy then and 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 then and, and blocking signal is also not received in this case tripping is not possible so this is the little bit modification in the normal scheme this scheme sometime abbreviated to blocking or BOP zone 2 is based on the ideal blocking scheme of figure 12.11 but the but has the signal logic illustrated in figure 12.12 .12, it is also known as the rational comparison blocking scheme or blocking or resistance protection scheme so these are the more definitions and this I have explained you can also uh, stop and read by yourself here again the phenomena I have discussed so this is basically the blocking scheme and let's see the unblocking scheme direction the permissive overreach scheme described in section can be arranged to operate on directional comparison unblocking principle by providing additional circuitry in signaling equipment in this scheme also called as a deep blocking overreaching distance protection scheme a continuous block or guard signal is transmitted when the overreaching distance element operate the frequency of signal transmitted to shift to unblock frequency the recept of unblocked frequency signal and operation of overreaching distance element allow fast tripping to occur for faults within the protected zone in principle the scheme is similar to permissive overage scheme so in fact the unblocking scheme is similar to blocking scheme and this uh, in previously cases uh, mm, uh, they were using PLCs and they were using uh, basically a guard frequency a guard frequency is continuously blocking uh, the relay to operate and as soon as the relay is, seeing, is not seeing at the remote and the fault in reverse direction it is removing this blocking and the relay can operate this is the same scheme only the difference is that it is doing unblocking the scheme is made more dependable than the standard permissive overage scheme by providing additional circuitry the receiver equipment this allow tripping to take place for internal faults if the transmitted unblocked signal is short circuited by fault this is achieved by allowing edit tripping for short time interval typically 100 to 150 milliseconds after the loss of both block and unblock frequency signals of this time interval edit trip is permitted only if unblock frequency is received so this is all about unblocking thank you